Founded in 1792, Kentucky was the 15th state and has a rich history full of stories, sights, and oddities you can't find anywhere else. Here's some of our favorite points of history as seen on the Downstream TV series. The Louisville Fraser History Museum. Kick off your journey of the Bourbon Trail in Louisville at this fantastic museum and learn about everything from Prohibition to Corvettes. The Stitzel Weller Distillery in Louisville is home to several bourbons, including Blade & Bow, but its long history has included icons such as Weller, Old Fitzgerald, and the elusive Pappy Van Winkle. This monument, built in 1860, is a symbol of the history of Louisville water and the gateway to a very interesting museum right on the Ohio River, where you can learn of Louisville's history, including the Great Flood, and how water came to be pure tap some of the best in the nation. The High Bridge over the Dix River was built in 1876 and was the first cantilever bridge in North America. Be sure and visit the park and learn a little bit about artist Paul Sawyer while you're there. 250 years ago, Daniel Boone pointed out the location of the current Dix River Dam, indicating it would be a great spot for a mill. Now that's foresight. Be sure and check out Shaker Village while you're paddling the Dix River as well. That's a culture that's literally history. The Kentucky River Museum at Lock 10. Learn the history of the Lock Masters on the Kentucky River as well as the golden age of river travel, including party boats, paddle wheels, and coal barges, all using the river over a hundred years ago. Legend has it that First Vineyard was the first commercial vineyard in North America, right here in Jessamine County along the Kentucky River. Stop by and try some wine and walk back to the location of the original press where you can still find the stone foundation and learn about wine that was sent to Thomas Jefferson for sampling. Closed in 1985, Young's High Railroad Bridge was built in 1889 and opened bourbon to the world. Featuring a unique Spanish mission-style architecture, Four Roses Distillery was built in 1910 in Lawrenceburg, Kentucky, and was originally known as the Old Prentice Distillery. The name Four Roses was trademarked in 1888, but the bourbon has been produced since the 1860s. Royal Spring in Georgetown, Kentucky was the site where Elijah Craig first distilled whiskey in 1789, using the limestone water from the spring. In Frankfurt, visit Buffalo Trace and tour Bourbon Pompeii, the recently uncovered remains of the original distillery built by one of the founding fathers of Bourbon, E. H. Taylor, in 1883. Frankfurt is where the Bourbon Ball was invented in 1936 by Ruth at a candy company started in 1919. Along with her friend Rebecca, these former teachers spent two years perfecting the recipe. Speaking of Colonel Taylor, he also built the Old Taylor Distillery in 1887. The 113-acre complex features a castle, sunken gardens, a spring house, and is now home to the Castle and Key Distillery. This temperate underground locale in Bowling Green has been everything from a Native American water source to Civil War camp to a 20s nightclub. Take a tour by boat through the cave and learn about Kentucky's immense cave systems. Federal Hill, located at my old Kentucky home state park in Bardstown, is the inspiration for Kentucky state song. This home and park has a rich history worth checking out between your distillery stops. The Colville Covered Bridge spanning Hingston Creek was built in 1877 and is the last surviving covered bridge in Bourbon County and one of only a few in the state of Kentucky. It's also listed on the National Register of Historic Places. All along the same stretch of Kentucky River outside Winchester is where the first commercial ferry operated and the Boone Calloway girls were kidnapped in 1776 by Native Americans. Daniel Boone pursued and rescued them two days later. Does that sound familiar? It inspired the chase scene from James Fenimore Cooper's novel, Last of the Mohegans.